got uh, two Roy Smack uh, guitars here made by Gibson. Tell us a little bit about these. It's right in the uh, mid to late 30s. Uh, Roy Smack, who is known as the Wizard of the Strings, great player of all stringed instruments, um, did an endorsement deal, um, some early ones with Harmony, but really one of the first to do it with Gibson. He and Nick Lucas were the two artists that really Gibson sought out and did an endorsement deal. So they had, and Hawaiian music was still pretty big in the mid to late 30s, so they made these uh, basically Gibson jumbo bodies, what was known as the jumbo, really the first dread that Gibson made kind of a slope shouldered, but they did it in a 12 fret configuration for the Hawaiian guitar. So most of these were all round neck, or with very, maybe one exception, I think there was a square neck, but virtually all round neck. Um, but they had um, just lines painted or inlaid rather than actual frets. So they were all originally set up as Hawaiian. With There might have been a few exceptions, of mm -hmm. course, with frets and such, but. And they made two models, the Stage Deluxe, which Kenny has there, which was mahogany sides and back. And then, um, and almost always had the sun, the darker sunburst uh, around the edges and such. And then they made a rosewood model called the Radio Grande. Now they didn't make too many. That's the one I have here with the rosewood sides and back. Uh, this one is from 36. The Stage Deluxe Kenny have is from 37. This one is in really spectacular condition, the rosewood one. You can see the back looks like it kind of came out of the factory fairly recently. Um, and they did make very few of them with this very large sunburst. Most of these were natural finish, but this particular one was a sunburst one. They had the Nick Lucas inlays on the fretboard. Stage Deluxe generally had the dot inlays, although there's been a, you know, like many things with Gibson, there's a number of stage deluxe that has a Nick Lucas inlays like this. So it kind of depended on what drawer they grabbed into that day for <laughs> when they put it together. Right. But, yeah. um, and they were the straight one inch um, bridge, uh, Brazilian rosewood fretboards and, and bridges. And then it was a silk screen painted on uh, headstock insignia, not as much pearl inlay on them except for the Nick Lucas inlays, which those were really from the banjo days, we're told anyway. Right. And they had a lot of the pretty fancy. So the Nick Lucas guitars came with them, some of the banjos, and then the Radio Grande and a very few stage deluxe had that. But generally speaking, they had, um, and some of these actually rosewood ones, the natural finish came without a pick guard in the early days. But again, in the later days, most of them had the, the fire stripe pick guard that's common with the Gibson. So, Stage Deluxe, Roy Smeck, and Radio Grande, Roy Smeck from Gibson from the mid to late 30s. Again, this is a 37, this is a 36 example. Pretty cool guitars. Yeah. With the 12th fret, you know, again, the bridge is set lower into the X bracing and, and generally, at least I think, produces a pretty open and, and huge sound, uh, I think. So, these are, uh, many people have really liked these Smecks for their huge open sound yeah it's one of my favorite guitars i um it's one of my favorite uh gibson you know uh, models that they ever made i always love uh running onto one of these to get to play it they just got a got a different sound so we'll uh demonstrate and uh i'll let you y'all hear what this one sounds like <laughs> Thank you. 
time of mixing the uh, episode about the Roy Smet guitars, a good friend of mine, Jason Yancey, uh, bought this 1934 Roy Smeck, and uh, I thought I would uh, share it with you today. I was at Mark Demaray's house and recorded his uh, Roy Smet guitars, and I thought it'd be neat to uh, share this one. Amanda and I happened to be up at uh, Picker Supply, which is a great music store run by Brand Dillard up in uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia, and we did a workshop up there and a little concert and uh, uh, I was uh, kind of scoping out the, his inventory and he's got a he's got a lot of great guitars he's got usually has a lot of old Martins and uh, I've known Brand for a long time he has this oddball stuff like the uh, he had two Roy Smet guitars he had a couple of jumbos in there and then he also had a uh, quite a few Washburn guitars that uh, that I love and uh, Regal guitars and uh, but this one I just I played this one I thought man this is really uh, a real good example uh, of a Roy Smeck um, stage deluxe and uh, I'd called uh, Jason Yancey and he was interested I think in one of those jumbos I think at the store and I told him that I'd played this one I said man it is a really good one and uh, never thought any more about it and uh I think a month later, uh, I was talking to um, Jason. He said, hey, I got that Roy Smack here at the house. So he ended up buying it. And I tell you, it is a great instrument. It is a really good sounding guitar. So let's uh, see how it sounds. I'll play you a tune on it. Mm -hmm. 